Hello everybody and welcome back. Finally, I know it's been quite a while since my last video and for the most part that hiatus has primarily been because of COPA. I'm sure by now most of you have already heard about COPA. It was highly talked about across all of YouTube, most of the entire internet and social media late last year of 2019. And even though I had read so much information about the subject on the FTC's website, like direct from FTC, the information that YouTube had put out, as well as the thoughts and opinions on other content creators, I just still was not sure how COPA was going to affect my channel. I do not make my videos for kids. I consider my videos to be more of a general audience. However, with the information YouTube was putting out and just how we all know their algorithm works, I was a little leery of how their algorithm would consider my videos if they just look and see, hey, pretty horses or cool looking lions. And just from some of the other things I was hearing about how other videos were getting marked by YouTube's algorithm, it just didn't really look like YouTube was looking at the context behind the videos. It was just looking directly at either thumbnails or just still grabs within the video and saying, hey, that's made for kids. Even though when you look and actually read what's going on or if you you know, see the actual subject matter within the video, it's like those videos were not made for kids. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get back into the swing of things, at least, at least with Leiden for now. I'm still not sure about my horse videos yet. But with Lydon, I'm a little more comfortable getting back into it because Lydon is a game that you have to be at least 16 years old or older to play. So to me, if I'm playing a game, showing you a video of a game that's made for adults, then I'm sorry, my videos should obviously be not for kids. So anyway, today we're going to get back into the swing of things with Lydon. And because it is one of my favorite, one of my favorite events is going on right now, I thought we would showcase that. So it is February. It's the Aphrodisia event, the month where there are tons of really nice breeding items, several, uh, well, there's tons of really nice applicators, marking applicators, and several really nice breeding items. So for today's video, to get back into the swing of things, we are going to be grinding for heart shells on both my main and my side accounts. So let's get started. Now, I do have the wiki page up for the Aphrodisia event because I don't really have all of these encounters memorized, and I am more interested in getting heart heart shells from these encounters. I don't care about the the little flavor text, which is the happy thoughts, awkward thoughts. I don't care about that. I don't really care about karma or impression because those are also points that you can get from certain encounters. I just want to choose the action that will give me the most heart shells. And like I said, I don't really have all of these completely memorized. So once in a while I will check. I'll just do like a control F search for a couple of words in the text from that encounter just to quickly, more quickly pull up that encounter and then I'll see how many shells which encounter gives me. Sometimes I just guess if I can't remember. So anyway, let's get started with grinding for heart shells. I'm starting with 314 on this. Even though it's it's February 10th as I'm recording this, I really don't have that many compared to a lot of people. I think some people get around 200 just per day. I just haven't been exploring that much this month because it does burn me out when I'm on here exploring all the time. So I try not to really do that because I don't want to get burned out. I'm just going to choose dry savanna because it doesn't really matter too much for this event, like which biome, you, which biome you're in. If this were something like the October or the November event, I think for this one, I can never remember this one. So trotting along dirt. So for watch, for watch, you get impression, energy, you could get an elephant skull if you whimper or attack, you get a heart shell. I do avoid all of the attack options because usually for these I think there is one there is one encounter where if you attack it you can possibly win up to four heart shells however 
if you win that fight and get those heart shells, which is usually just one heart shell, you win, you lose rather 10% energy. To me, that 10% energy loss is not worth the heart shell because there's the possibility you could get a couple extra encounters within that 10% energy to give you heart shells. So I never choose the attack option. I'm going to watch just so I can get 5% energy. There we go. I got 5% energy uh, for this one. This one's a new one, and I don't remember this one too much either. While strolling. So we can get one to two heart shells if we warn. One heart shell plus 10 energy if we join in. Or two heart shells outright if we spar. But this is not an actual attack encounter. It's just like spar for the storyline, I guess. Uh, let's go with this one because the 10% energy would be nice, but that's two guaranteed heart shells. So we're going to go with the two guaranteed heart shells. And I am going to click on the option to claim all lionesses. However, I will only actually claim lionesses on my side account. I'm on my main account at the moment, but I do not have the... I wonder if I should have roared for that one. I don't have the claim 50 lionesses quest active on my main account right now because I'm on the cooldown as I completed it maybe yesterday, might've been the day before, but I'm still on a cooldown for it. So I can't complete it for another day or something. So com comfort, but I do have it active on my side account. Therefore, I am going to claim all lionesses on my side account. But I'm still going to check out the lionesses on my main because I always like searching and finding chase lionesses. That's always really fun for me. I do have an energy booster. Like I said, we're grinding today. So I'm using up energy boosting items. I have an energy boost. Feed on that. And we've got 100% energy to keep on going. And I also have a bunch of giant tortoises on my side account. I have some giant tortoises on this one too, but because my XP bar is only at 7%, it's, I don't think the seven, I think I have like seven, the seven giant tortoises I have are not enough to uh, max out, to, to get my... Okay, let me rephrase that. The giant tortoises that I have are not enough to level up my my lion on my main. So I do have enough to level up on my side. So we're definitely going to do that. Uh, awkward. I always like that one. <laughs> I just I just like how they have it written out. It's entertaining. I really like this event. This is one of my favorite events on Lyodin because there are so many marking applicators available this month. And there are also a bunch of breeding items. If you are interested in mutation breeding, try to get heart shells for this event because you can get Buffy balls on tier three and on tier two, Grain of Paradise. And the Buffy balls give you a three cub litter guaranteed, at least three cubs, and the grade of paradise is at least two cubs. There is also a Yohimbi bark on, I think it's tier two, it says in the wiki, um, but there's a Yohimbi bark that will reduce your lioness's breeding cooldown. So if you want to breed her sooner rather than later, you can use that Yohimbi bark. And that is usually a very expensive item. I think it is available year round. Do I want to flirt or claim? Let's claim because you do get heart shells for claiming. I think that's a special one. I think the Yohimbi Bark is available year round in the Gorilla Enclave, but I usually get marking applicators. That's a special one. Yeah, I'm not really interested in it. I'll probably just chase her later. So, going to. I meant to observe for that one. For that one. I've been going through this phase lately where I keep saying fur instead of four. I have 330 heart shells. I really do wish I had a lot more, but I don't. Like I said, I just haven't been exploring as much as I have in years past. I am going to switch. So we're going to switch over to my side where my energy bar is maxed out. Also, I have to flirt with lionesses. I try to make sure that I'm doing this every 15 minutes if I'm active online on my PC if I'm not super busy, but otherwise I don't log in throughout the day just to try to do it. I could do that on my phone, but 
it just, you know, it takes time out of your day to do that. And I just don't feel like it. I just don't have the time. Uh, strut your stuff. I don't know. Does Growl give you anything for that one? I should probably look that one up too. Usually the, what I call the more nicer encounter options, like to me, Growl seems like it would be a bit rude. Like you come across a couple of lionesses and you growl at them. I guess it depends on how you growl. If you're mean about it, then I wouldn't expect to get hard shells. But so we didn't get that one. Advise. Sit next to him. See, ambush to me. That would probably be mean. You're not going to get heart shells for that. Growl, spray scent, snarl, bite neck. That is the process that I use to claim snarky or evil lionesses. And it's usually pretty successful, although some of it does have to do with your own lioness's personality in relation to the personality of the lioness that you come across. So again, this is a snarky lioness. So I am going to growl, spray scent, snarl, and I would bite neck. For that one, it didn't work. You know, it's not guaranteed, but that process usually is pretty successful for me. Help him out. And then if we get a good or a neutral lioness, I'll tell you what I do there. So that is all of my energy. I have a two. I have two broken drones. Make sure to use that on myself. I don't want to use that on an NCL because that would be totally pointless. So consume those. That brings me up to 94%. I have, I thought I had an energy booster in here, but I don't. Looks like I have 13 giant tortoises. So we're going to use these until I level up. 91, 94. How many more do I have to use? 99, one more tortoise. And boom, we can level up. Awesome. What I had done, what I had started doing last month, and I got this idea from a few players in chat because I do usually keep the chat open. I don't have it open now just because I thought it would be too distracting. But I saw some players last month stating that they had started hoarding their XP on their lion, meaning that even though their XP had maxed out at 100%, and even further than that, a couple of them had 300 plus XP, so they could have leveled up a couple of times in a row if they wanted to. They hadn't yet leveled up because they wanted to um, save all of that energy for this month, because whenever you level up your lion, your energy bar refreshes to 100%. And I thought, ooh, that's a really good idea. So I had like 300 XP stocked up on my side. I had 200 something stocked up on my main. And the other day I went through and I leveled them up so I could explore a couple of times. So for this one, this is the neutral pose because I always get kind and good confused. For a neutral kind and good, I always purr, puff out chest, shake mane, and rub head. Am I going to get it? Yep, we got it. I think that's a Mabola again, isn't it? The Mazawa? Sure. This one's also a special one. I always I always get all three of them confused. I can never remember which is which. I think Asali is the lighter one. See this one, when you demand shells, it actually activates a battle. You only get one heart shell if you win. Just one heart shell and you lose 10% energy. So it's just really not worth it. Uh, again, which was this one? Spar. You got two heart shells. Okay. Again, some of these encounters have been around for the past three years of this event. Like I think the hyena one is. This one is new for last year, for last year. Like last year was the first year we saw that one. But some of them I just, I can't remember them. Because there's a lot of events, a lot of encounters that you can get and explore. And I just can't keep them all track. So that's why utilizing the wiki is really helpful. I'm really glad that we have the wiki. It's just full of so much useful information. I use that every day that I play pretty much. Uh, we got three heart shells for that. 24% energy left. I don't think I am going to use the rest of my giant tortoises because at level 14, it'll, it would take me a lot of giant tortoises to level up. Per Puff out chest, shake mane, and rub head. There we go. I'm usually more successful at claiming lionesses on my side, but I think it has something to do, again, with his personality because I believe my mane is evil or no, he's hyperactive. 
I'm not sure. Let's take a look because I'm all out. I can improve my impression. Not that it matters because that just increases my stats as I'm a dreamboat already. So this one is good. But Elendor, my main, he's snarky, hyperactive. I'm just not that not that successful at claiming lionesses with this one. I don't know. So I do have giant, I have three drones on here and six giant tortoises. And I had about six left on my side. So if I had, say, 12 giant tortoises and these three drones, and if I use them on either or, it's it's not going to be enough to level me up. So I'm just going to save these because I do have heirs that I am bringing up on both of my accounts. And yeah, I think I'm just going to save these for my heirs unless somehow as I'm going about exploring and I'm getting more XP with my current kings, if I get them close enough to 100% XP, then I'll get them the tortoises to level them up. Otherwise, right now, it's just not going to do me any good. I'm just going to use them and I'm not going to level up. So that is it for today's grind session for heart shells. I didn't do too bad. I I already forgot how many heart shells I started out with, but I do know that I now have more than what I started with. So that is all that matters. So I thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hopefully I can get back now into a regular sort of upload schedule or at least a little bit more frequent. I think I'll be okay at least with Leiden for now. So I'm definitely going to continue with Leiden videos. I do have a few more already planned and in the works. One of it one of which is a clean versus dirty breeding video and that just talks about what is clean breeding what is dirty breeding because that is a question that I see pop up in chat quite a lot and then I also will probably do a sort of part two follow-up video which is how I go about clean breeding on my main account and then I'd also like to do a video showing you how I go about doing my light and dailies so anyway <laughs> thank you guys again so much for joining me today and I hope to talk to you soon bye